Graph f of x equals the log of base one-half of x. So in order to graph this thing, I'm going to need to change it into exponential form. So that would be one-half to the power of y, because f of x is just y. This is going to equal x. And now I'm going to need a table on this thing. For this specific problem, since it's kind of inverted, right, we got x equals again. This means that we're going to have to choose values of y and solve for x. So I'm going to put 0 in the middle. Then I'll use some of these negative values. We'll see if any of them are useful. So when uh, y is 0, we got 1 half to the power of 0. That's 1. That's nice. That gives us the point 1, 0, which I put on the graph now. When y is negative 1, that means we're going to reciprocate that 1 half and we get 2. When y is negative 2, we'd get 4 and then 8. Yes, I am skipping several steps on these. Hopefully that's okay since this is a review. When I got 1 half to the power of 1, I just have 1 half. That'd be 0 0.5 and then 1 fourth and then 1 eighth. Those points are going to be a little bit more difficult to graph, but as long as we can see the behavior of the graph before then, we should be in pretty good shape. So... Let's look, we got 2, negative 1, then I got 4, negative 2, and then I've got 8, negative 3, and then I got uh, 1 half 1, and this is just getting really, really close to that y-axis. Alright, there we go, and just because we know the properties of these logarithms, we should understand that this line will never ever cross that y-axis right there, okay? So the purple line is the one that we really want.